All right, Anthony, so this video um, is going to be used to explain to you uh, how to add the um, files. And so it will be very straightforward, if you notice. Uh, I open up my ArcMap. Um, generally, you'll see the exact same thing. It doesn't matter what version. I, I, I won't be opening up a new map, so these are the save files. After you save them, uh, we'll do a brand new one. So if you notice, I just click Cancel. Um, so I have sent you using a Google Drive um, here, a folder. And so in this folder, you'll download everything. And so every, every file in here, you'll download. And then once you download those files, you have to locate them. So they'll probably be downloaded in your downloads area. And then you can modify by date and they'll be at the top. Now there's a simple way uh, to load these files. Um, but first, what you're going to do is you're going to use this button to add, right? When you add, you're, you're usually selecting from what you call your connected folders. And so if the folder, for instance, your downloads isn't here, then you need to collect, connect that folder. And so I'll just show you how to connect um, your downloads folder. You're going to use this button, and then this button can connect. See, if you notice, I have my name. This was brought up. And this is essentially like my, my folder. You'll have another name. I think it depends on the computer you use. It's going to be another um, name. And then you scroll down all the way, and then you can find your downloads folder. After you click on the downloads folder, you hit OK. And then now that folder is connected. So if you notice, you have downloads right here. And inside of this, you'll, 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 scrub, you'll scroll to those files um, that, that you downloaded. My recommendation is to put them in a folder. So you'll create a new folder and you'll extract the files inside of that folder or you'll place them in there so that you can easily locate it. And that can be anywhere you want. So this is my desktop and you can create a connection to your desktop if that's where you want to. Or you can make one in the C drive or something just to hold your GIS files. All right. Now, in terms of the images themselves, once you, once you have the connection, like you can easily like work with your files and build your maps based on that. The easy way to do this is to use your internet, exp your um, sorry, your um, Windows Explorer, which is this this right here, right? And so in your case, you'd probably use your downloads folder. In my case, I'm going to use my GIS and where my satellite images are stored. And you notice I this would be your file, and all you do is simply drag it in, right? Uh, there it is. It's been loaded up. I've also sent you some other files. So inside of your GIS, um, sorry, inside of the folder you download, um, I also sent you the ones that we worked on, right? Uh, but for those, you'll have to connect them. If you notice, there are different file types, so you just can't grab them and drag them in. In, in our case, this is, um, you'll scrub to that folder like how I showed you to connect it. And then you this is this, is this exact same folder. But if you notice, I'm seeing individual files. So for instance, you notice I have a Belize shape file, the, the one from Cash G, um, GPS, uh, Celsius uh, data that we uh, worked on. Uh, this is the one we created that was new, right? I also had the national waters of Belize and the protected areas. Um, so to get an idea of where the um, spark sites is at around Sapo de la Keys. Um, all I'm doing is I'm simply just holding the control uh, in your bottom left or bottom right, it doesn't matter, and the control button on the keyboard, and then you click on them. So you're holding down the control, and then you can click on all of them. Uh, the other option is to select like this, so to drag and hold and select. Once all of them are uh, selected, you can just add it in, right? Uh, you can ignore this uh, for now, and so if this pops up, you just hit close. You just ignore it, and your files have been loaded. Um, if you notice, you're not being able to see your um, the, the satellite image. And so what you want to do to the National Waters of Belize is to remove the fill color. So if you notice, I clicked on the icon here, and then I just scrubbed, and it has no color, and that's what I want. I want the, I, the, the lines to be visible, so I'm just going to maybe use a red line, right? Um, if you don't want to see... A particular shape file, for instance, you don't want to see Celsius um, location, then you just uncheck it. All right? 
you also have um, cash, maybe you don't want to see that, and you only want to see the ones we created, and this would be it. You can label them. Uh, so you right click and you hit label. And then you can right click again and go to properties. And so that it's more visible, you could hit on label. So if you notice on the top, find label. And you can just change the color to white and then it'll be more visible, right? Um, using this icon, you can zoom in and get a better a better look at it, right? And so you, you're getting a better look. And this is essentially it, Anthony. Um, those That's how to get your files in uh, that you may or may not need, right? If you don't need a, a particular file to show, you just uncheck it. If you want to like extract a JPEG, uh, at the bottom here, there's two icons. This one's to extract the JPEG to get like an image out of it. And so you click on the layout view as it's called. And then you can uh, reposition, you know, the map. So if you notice, it's not as centered. You're getting like too much of Guatemala. You want to zoom in a bit more. Um, so I'm using this icon to, to zoom in. You have some new icons here, but that's just that, that those aren't for that. See if you notice, you're just moving the map around in the space. This one's actually to zoom in, right? Uh, you want the icons to be more visible. You can create it as white, and you can increase the size. So you see your, your little icons. The text is the same thing. Uh, properties, labels, increase the size of the text. Maybe you want it to be 12. You, you, you work with a number that's comfortable for you. Um, inserting nerd arrows. So if you want to insert a nerd arrow, right? Uh, there it is. It's not too visible. You right click it, properties. Uh, in the frame, you want to do background. So change the background to, you can use any of these colors and change it here, right? And if you want it to be a bit bigger on the edges, so you, you'll notice the difference, see? See, it's, it's wider here, but it's very, like, close here. And so that's just that number. And then I'll, you'll notice this one has more space now after I do this. See? So it's much more visible. Uh, you can create a label, insert a label, um, a title, sorry. And you type the name of the title, Corona Reef. Um, monitoring sites, if that's what you want to call it. Hit OK. It's again not visible. You can do two things. You can change the color. If you want to change the title of the map, you can type type whatever you want in here. So for instance, Corona Reef uh, monitoring sites. And then I'll change to a, a year. So I'll put 2021. You know? Yeah. And then that's going to show there now, see? So you can just right click on it and hit on the um, properties. Let me just do that one more time. Right click on it. And for most of these, right click on it, properties. And then that's it. If you want to change the size, you go change symbol. And then you change the size here. If you want to change the color, you change it there. Uh, some of these have like uh, background. So if you don't mind this um, orange background, then you can do that. And then you just hit that. And then it'll have a back, an outline on the text itself so that you can see it um, as opposed to the background on the other one. I can't teach you to change that, but I'll leave that for another time. The, the color that is, if you notice, the color is um, yellow. Um, that size is a bit small, so let's make it bigger, maybe about 20. All right. And now you have a title. Um, if you want to insert your legends, uh, legends is as simple as just hitting... Uh, next, you, you don't necessarily need the satellite image in it, so you can remove that one, and you can leave these ones, right? And then you just hit next, if you notice, Adam, I'm doing his next, and then finish. It's, again, not visible. Properties. Uh, the frame. The frame is what you want. So on that one, it was also the frame, and then uh, create another white background. You know. And then now it's visible. See? Some of these you can, instead of having it on the top, you can have it on the bottom uh, because most of the map is there. Right? And that's generally it.
Uh, some people want to add the scale bar to show distance. Um, you can use this one. Uh, there it is. Again, it's not visible. It's the exact same thing. Um, if you notice, there's a format. You can change the color to white, and you can increase the size maybe to 12. You don't necessarily have to do that like that uh, because this one automatically adjusts. So you can adjust it like that, and then it does. Um, you want to also change the marks. Um, or you can leave it at black and you can create another frame behind it and so that you have that um, background so that the black can show, right? See? And there you go. Uh, you can also put this one on the bottom. Uh, whichever, which, whichever way is comfortable for you. Uh, you can arrange these. Uh, generally, people put them on the right. So everything would be on the right. And then that would be at the very bottom. Above bar. Um, Oh, there it is. This is what I'm interested in. Um, this one puts this miles thing at the butt below. So that's below center. And then uh, if you want to use kilometers, you change it. So that's scale and units kilometers. Uh, this one has to do with the divisions. If you notice, there's a lot. So you can create less subdivisions. So for instance, you can do like one subdivision and two divisions and see. You have one subdivision and two divisions, so you can maybe increase to another one. And there you go. Uh, much more um, uniform. Again, you adjust like that, you, you change the um, size of the text to a number you're comfortable with. And that's your legend. You don't need much for the legend. I think that's essentially it, Anthony. Um, the only other thing is to export the map. You can change it to a JPEG. Uh, if you want it on desktop, you give it a name. And then you hit save. And this is for everything. So if you have, for instance, in your desktop, you have a folder called GIS. Um, sorry, not your desktop, in your uh, drives. One of them has a folder called GIS. It has more shape files in there. And so you can play around with those. I have a copy here, so it doesn't matter if you screw that one up. I already have a copy here, right? And so you can make other maps. Uh, but essentially, um, that's it for making maps. Like the only other thing I would show you how to do is to create a bookmark. So this bookmark is for the map so that when you look at the map, this is what you see. Otherwise, you would have to reposition. See, so if I, you're maybe observing the map, and then you know, you know what? I want to export this map, right? And then that's where that's where it is. See, so it's no longer positioned. You can use the bookmark that you created to go right back to that view, and that's just a shortcut. Um, the other way would be to manually go back to the position, and you use the scale to like you know, um, put reposition again. And zoom in using these, right? Um, remember to save. So save desktop. I like to save on the desktop. You can create your own folder, and you can maybe Anthony uh, demonstration for this one. Once you don't move the files, uh, your G G GIS files on the side um, in the in their root folder. For instance, if I were to take this folder and move it somewhere else these files won't be showing anymore. They're no longer connected and you'll have to reload them. So my recommendation is to put them somewhere where you won't move them anymore. Um, because then after that, it won't work. Um, so Anthony, you can review this video. Uh, take your time going through it. Uh, pause the areas you're unsure and rewind it. Uh, this will be your source. It's, this will also be, again, in the, the download folder so you can watch that. All right.